So it's the dumbest bill in America, and it's even dumber than <laughs> it's even dumber than the county executive of Montgomery County, Maryland. This <laughs> dumbest bill in America is one from Virginia, Virginia's governor, and it mandates face masks in Virginia. Mandates them. Mandates them. Right? So even if you're perfectly healthy, even if you have had COVID and you have all the antibodies, you still have to wear a mask. Uh, no matter where you are, although the governor of Virginia is saying it's only if you're inside. I'm not really sure that's true because the media is saying, well, there were people outside and they weren't wearing face masks. Uh, so Governor Ralph Northam put in this mandate that you must wear face masks in Virginia. And meanwhile, he goes to Virginia Beach, the governor does. He visits Virginia Beach, that is the primary resort on the ocean in Virginia, for those of you that aren't familiar with the East Coast. And uh, he doesn't wear a face mask and he doesn't social distance. Like a bunch of people came up to him and said, can we have a picture with you? Rules now, for me, but not, or rules for thee, but not for me. Yeah, so they say, can we have a picture with you? What he should have said was, okay, if he had a face mask. Six feet apart, people. But you're supposed to still be six feet apart. Uh -huh. But he didn't have a face mask and he takes a selfie with him. <laughs> he is the king of un unattentive irony. It's just everything is over his head. He has, oh God, it reminds me of the issue back with his, uh, with his blackface thing where he, like, explain people, that. What happened? He, he got caught. You well, know, but apparently what, he, he what admitted, did he do? So he got admitted to doing the Michael Jackson 90s Halloween costume thing. But then, you know, there was the racist, you know, Facebook not Facebook, the racist yearbook picture where he was either... From med school. From med school. He was not a child. He was well into yes. adulthood. He was old. old. Yes. Oh, and, thanks. Well, 27, <laughs> Mark, you know, that's way older than me. Older than you, yes. Older than me. But, you know, he's in med school in a yearbook, and he's either wearing a Klu Ku Klux Klan robe or he is wearing just the blackest blackface ever done. Yeah, it's like wearing a Klu Klux Klan hood that you would wear if you were a member of the KKK. Or... Or... He, he was, was completely and utterly blackface with a hat on yeah. in that picture because the two individuals and we have were no right idea next to each which other. one he is, but they're all they're both pretty bad regardless of which one he and, is. And he said initially that he was Sorry. one of them, and but he didn't know which one. And which, then he which later is just came a back bunch of and said, BS. But they asked him. They were like, and you then know, he changed his mind. Yeah, right? and then he came back later, and they were like, you know. Uh, Ralph, what uh, what do you think about like you know using blackface and stuff? And he's like, well, you got to use a little bit of it because if you know if you don't know, like you use foot po like uh, shoe polish, it like sticks and it doesn't come off. And it's like, apparently he's done Ralph, this a lot. Nobody knows that. <laughs> like you are the only one who knows that. Like a little self awareness. Or and then they asked him, and they're like, well, can you do the moonwalk? This is the wildest press conference ever. The questions were uncanny. They were awesome. And then somebody was like, well, since you're dressed up as Michael Jackson, can you do the moonwalk? And he starts, he starts looking around the stage because he's on like a gym stage or like an auditorium stage. And he looks around to like find a spot. And he like steps aside from the microphone to begin doing the moonwalk. And his wife That's has amazing. to stop him and be like, Ralph, no, you, you can't do that. Like, exactly. Every, this guy, he is a governor, and I'm sure being a doctor, there's some semblance of like IQ he's, in he's him. He's such a frat boy, you can tell. He's just a just, frat boy. Everything's a joke then. And, and it doesn't make it right, of course, because yeah. it's not right, obviously, and it wasn't right then when he did it, and clearly it's not right now, which, was, which is what makes it even more ridiculous that when the press asked him, as you said, can you can still you do, do the moonwalk? Walk? And he's, he's like, like I'm not yeah, sure man. if I have enough space here. You know, and his wife goes, honey, that would be like inappropriate. Yeah, you know? like honey, you're in the middle of a scandal that might ruin your political career where, you know, prominent political figures are asking you to resign, but let's exactly. do the moonwalk. But like this goes back to the point where we talking about him, you know, face masks and being on the beach. He just, everything's like, you know, it Chris doesn't made apply most, to him. everything's right over his head. And he's a Democrat, by the way, for everybody out in past, uh, podcast land. The governor, Ralph Northam of Virginia, is mandating face masks, but he doesn't wear them when he goes to yeah. Virginia Beach. And equally important, there are signs there that say you also need to social distance when you're there on the boardwalk, which is where he was. Yeah. He didn't social distance. He was right next to people. So he doesn't follow any of the rules that the rest of us have to follow. And of course, 
so we I think we we have a clip on that. Did we play that clip already with the media? No, okay, so Miranda. let's play that clip first. <laughs> Top. So there was just a lot of backlash when Governor Northam visited the beach on Saturday and was seen not wearing a face mask or standing six feet apart from others. Photos of the governor again not wearing a face covering went viral over social media, and many people expressed concerns of Northam not practicing guidelines he actually imposed. You can see him standing close to people, taking pictures with them. One viewer stated on our Facebook page, "Quote." Quote, I thought it was a great move for Governor Northam to go to Virginia Beach yesterday, but for him not to wear a mask on the boardwalk was a huge mistake. That was an opportunity for him to model the expected behavior, and he blew it. I'm very surprised and disappointed. Again, that is what one viewer said on our Facebook page. Governor Northam's office responded to the viral photos on yesterday, and according to the governor's officials, Northam still encourages wearing face coverings when social distancing is not possible. In a statement, Governor Northam office says, quote, this is an important reminder to always have face coverings in case situations change. So he would be an expert, the governor would be on face coverings, because we have a clip from not that long ago when they were talking about some other face coverings that he was <laughs> wearing. Uh, and here is the clip. The all-consuming firestorm swirling around Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. The governor overwhelmed tonight by calls to resign the list growing over a racist photo from his medical school yearbook. His own explanations adding to the chaos. The image shows one man in blackface, the other dressed as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Governor Northam first admitting he is one of the men pictured, then denying he's in the photo. Tonight, the governor is now asking his own cabinet for more time to decide his next move. Yeah, he needs, and his next move was, it wasn't really me, right? Even though it has my name under it, it wasn't really me dressed in the KKK outfit. So my theory is with the mandating face masks in Virginia, the governor of Virginia didn't want to wear a face mask when he went to Virginia Beach and he didn't want to, because, because he couldn't wear the mask that he used to wear when he was in med school. <laughs> as inappropriate as that is, I mean, it does make you wonder because you know I'm sure people probably make fun of him. But the fact of the matter is, if you want to wear a mask, you should be you should have to wear a mask. And here's, and here's the thing, I just, this is really important for Mark and the Millennials to be clear. If you've been tested for COVID and you've been tested with the antibodies and you've been tested negative, whatever the case may be, it should be a guiding principle of whether you should be wearing a mask or whether you have a fever, whether you're sick or whether you're young, whether you're elderly, whether you're healthy, whether you're not healthy, Use your best judgment. There is a place for masks. Look, if you're if you're going to the grocery store and you're in a tight space with a bunch of other people and you're touching goods that other people are going to touch, wear a mask. And you should wear a mask. Should the government make you wear a mask? No, I just don't believe the government should make you do anything. But no, you know, wear a mask. If you wear a mask in the car, I am less sympathetic of you. I think yeah, that's I think just that's stupid. just weird. That's just, just weird. weird. Yeah, I, I it makes me especially cringe. if you're alone in the car. If yeah. you're alone in the car, you know you're not going to get it through your air vents, guys. Yeah. It's okay. Um, and if you're alone, if you're with your family in your car, which is usually the case with me, I've got my family in the car with me. Yeah, it's not um, a big deal. You know, I'm with them all the time. Why would I wear a mask in the car when I'm with the people I'm with all the time? It's a little late for that. If you're out running on a trail, you probably shouldn't have to wear a mask because you're running <laughs> and you're not up in everybody's grill. But, you know, there's a time and place for everything. Use your best judgment, and you, nobody should really make you have to do anything. Look, and I am so happy to see that, you know, a lot, of, a lot of businesses took it upon themselves to say, hey, if you want to come in, wear a mask. And I think that is excellent because it should be up to the businesses to decide what they want in their store because they are a private business, and they are well within their rights to do that. But it should That's be right. them coming up with these you know, guidelines for how they want to, you know, treat their store. And then not the customers the, the customers can decide whether or not they want to go in that store based on the level of carefulness that yeah. the business has decided to implement. Because the governor, the, the individuals can say, look, <laughs> and we've been saying this for weeks now, why these same people are complaining about, oh my gosh, they're not wearing a mask and their stores should remain closed. Those are the same people, by and large, who are going to Walmart yeah. with, with you know, 200 other people inside the Walmart What's and buying stuff. What's amazing to me, though, is that it took Governor Ralph Northam this long to do this. Am I the only one who's surprised by this? Like, when it came to masks, like, you know, I kind of understood in the first couple of, like, you know, weeks to months, like the first month or so, I was like, you know... Maybe there is something to wearing a mask. Maybe we should all wear a mask for a little while. But here we are in like, what is it? Today is May 29th, Friday. I'm sure you'll all be seeing this May 30th on Saturday or whatever. But, And 
it took Northam two, three months to come up with some kind of a mask guidance. It's, it's like, it, absolutely true. That's very true. And by the way, I just want to say this about Ralph, Governor Ralph Northam. It was absolutely inappropriate, of course, for him to do what he did in his yearbook yeah. and to go in blackface. It still blows me away that this guy is still governor of Virginia because if he were a Republican, he would have been pushed out. But nonetheless, if I saw him on the boardwalk in Virginia Beach, even though I don't live in Virginia, and I happen to see him, I'd say, hey, governor, there's enough space here to do the moonwalk. Will you do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and that's it for the dumbest bill in America, mandating face masks in Virginia. Thank you for joining Mark of the Millennials. This is Mark Fisher. <laughs> Thank you to our millennial, Garrick Ross. And, oh, of course, our producer, Adam Katura, and our assistant producer, Christopher Hopkins. Check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and our website. See you next time. <laughs>